Hello my friends, my name is Tom, your friend and host with Weapons Education. You are all American patriots. And what pistol is more patriotic than the 1911? Gosh, on every soldier's sidearm throughout both world wars. Let's talk about the most beautiful 1911 made possibly. I'm going to unveil it here in a moment. It's in there. The unveiling of the Ivor Johnson 24 karat gold 6 inch 1911 Eagle XL. Now I already have it in black. So at the time I wanted the ported barrel and slide and this is what's called the 6 inch Eagle XL. I like it so much and I've had so much enjoyment out of the shooting this gun and we're gonna get into it real deep in here and you're gonna want one especially the one I'm gonna unveil on 24 karat gold. I'm gonna show you why it's the price point is what it is and why it's gonna go up in value as I show you a thumbs up, my friends, please give the video a thumbs up and tell your friends and share this video and let's help grow the channel. Let's grow the channel. Now, here is the unveiling. First of all, you can see a peak here. It is their premier gun on the cover of their catalog. And I had it tested. It's real 24 karat gold. We're going to really you're gonna you're gonna love this gun and you're gonna want one because they're gonna go up in value and they're very rare Ivor Johnson here's the gun then we'll talk about the company here she is my friend Josh is here helping me tonight it's late at night a mirror 24 karat gold 10 millimeter 10 millimeter we know the power of a 10 millimeter these things <laughs> pretty much equivalent to a 357 Magnum you get the right ammunition I used a double tap and I mean we're talking well over a thousand feet per second but a 230 grain jacketed hollow point is what we're looking at here for instance you can get faster ones with with smaller grains and all that but the 10 millimeter we know is a cannon and when you hold this gun in your hand, you know you're holding something special. It's 2.75 pounds. Let's talk about, first of all, Ivor Johnson, because I want to give this pistol all the respect it deserves. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it in the future. Should I shoot it? Should I put it into a display, a glass display box, and put it in my office and all? What do you think I should do? I, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do here in a moment. It's just so gorgeous and well made. Well, the company Ivor Johnson went through a few phases and it was very well known 70s, 80s, early 1920s, 30s, and then in the last decade it got revamped. And they have everything from, you've seen my Ivor Johnson video possibly. If you search just Ivor Johnson Weapons Education, you'll see my collection of Ivor Johnson to show you that I'm a believer in their 1911s. If I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on a pistol, it's going to be something that is going to go up in value or at least hold its value. This is going to go up in value. I'm going to tell you why in detail here in a moment. So now we know it's revamped the company. And I, and I met them at SHOT Show oh, way back. And, well, maybe it was 12 or 13. And every year since. And I've seen them grow and grow and grow. So what we're looking at, first of all, what we're looking at here is the obvious is that it's gold-plated. So how is it gold-plated? Uh, we know the guns are made in the Philippines, 
but they're brought to the United States and to the state of Florida where I live, and then they're modified to really good specs. This, the slide on this is like glass, I'll show you. And the coating and the, the, the porting, if you decide to get that, you can get this gold one with the, with the porting of the slide and barrel. I decided not to uh, because I already, got, I already got one that's ported with the slide and barrel and I wanted more gold on this for a few reasons here I'll tell you in a moment. More gold is better by the way. And for instance, okay let's talk about, will this go up in value real quick. Here's a pen I bought. This is a Louis Vuitton. I just, I, I'm a pen collector. I can do, if you like pens, I can do videos on my pens. This is a Louis Vuitton pen. I paid $400 for about 15 years ago. I just looked it up in the fire sale. These are now $825. So it more than doubled in value because of the 24 karat gold. And of course the condition it's in is like brand new. And I got the box. And then here is, we know the name of um, Mont Blanc, 24 karat gold. I paid 500 for this Mont Blanc and it's up to 1400 now with the price of gold skyrocketing, precious metals. And it's not just the price of gold, it's the amount of manpower that it takes to coat this with 24 karat gold. The way I understand it is, and the way it was explained to me, is what they do is, first of all, they have to nickel plate the whole gun, the slide, the frame, everything. And then they gold plate it. It's a long, long process. And if you want to buy one right now, I'll say this, uh, you'll probably go to Ivor Johnson's website and you'll see sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. And then you'll see, this is how I got it, nine months ago, I like this one so much, I've been blasting away, I've been carrying it, I enjoy it, it's a six inch, I need my shoulder holster to carry this, one of my custom shoulder holsters, weaponseducationholsters.com, I'll put that website below, but you do need a shoulder holster to carry something that's 2.75 pounds empty, what a hunting gun with the six inch barrel. So, uh, now I'm going back like nine months. And I look at their website, and it says out of stock, out of stock. So I email them, I contact them. I'll put the link below so you can easily see how you can get a hold of them. And what they did was they came back to me with distributors in the United States that have it in stock. That's the answer. I'm going to say it again. You're doubtful you're going to find one of these on, 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 on Ivor Johnson's website. You're going to find it. The gold one especially, only from a few choice distributors in the country, and you got to contact Ivor Johnson to find out who they are, and then you, know, you would contact them. That's what I did anyway. That, that's the best of my knowledge. Uh, you purchase your guns how you do. I don't sell guns. I just I review them. This one here, uh, I found out uh, nine months ago that they're only going to make like 75 of them. Uh, and I said, well, this is nine months ago. They said, maybe you can get a 45 caliber. I said, well, I'm a 10 millimeter guy. And they're like, that's really rare. I said, well, I want the 10 millimeter. So I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. And sure enough, here it is now, nine, nine, 10 months later. And I'm so excited about telling you all about it. So we have a six inch barrel. We know about the company. It's very successful. We know about the 10 millimeter ammo. This is not an ammunition ballistics video. This is all about one of the most gorgeous 24 karat gold 1911s made in the world. Period. And, well, what does it cost right now? I'll tell you flat out. Uh, ballpark of $1,750 in this configuration, which, which I think is very reasonable without the porting um, but if you want to port it it's maybe I think 1825 only 75 dollars more if you can even get it or wait another eight months or a year to get it in that configuration 
uh, I tell you, after this video airs, uh, I don't know, you know, it's going to be hard to find. So you're going to have to do what you got to do to get one. And let me tell you about it. Let me tell you about it. First of all, let's get into some details. The frame is made from 1045 steel. You guys know about that. That's good steel. And I know about steel. I own my own uh, vault company, safe and vault company, weapons education safes.com. I know about steel. 1045 steel is a good steel. And the slide is made from 4140. I almost don't want to touch it because the fingerprints. I was going to wear gloves, but all I got is, is black ones. And I'm thinking, well, that's not going to give it the white glove treatment it, it deserves. I'll touch it here in a moment. The, uh, the fully adjustable, which I have to do now is touch it. Okay. The fully adjustable, right here, rear sights, they're really, because I, I have it on my other one also, they're called LPA TRT fully adjustable white dot rear sight with a dovetail front sight. So if you're a hunter and um, you want a good 6 inch 10 millimeter, or if you want the 45, you've got some really good sights there. Now as you look here you notice the hammer is serrated. When you buy a 1911 you got to look at these little things. The hammer is serrated. Now what about something like this? You know we, we know we've got the, uh, the grip safety right on these 1911s but look how long this beaver tail is. See how high it goes? Now look inside here and you see how it's it's molded out in there for the hammer this is a safety check gun to go into the beaver tail uh, that's something we call what I call in the industry a memory cut okay and yes yeah, a safety check gun and gosh this thing is like glass look at look I mean it's you can't even hear it for a 10 millimeter with that big massive spring, it's really easy to pull the slide. Really easy. And lock. Now, your slide release, please zoom in there, Josh, is serrated and it's protruding out. And like I mentioned, the hammer is serrated your even your mag drop serrated comes with one mag and it is I don't know if that's gold or not tell you the truth plated I don't know I'd have to find out I I would doubt it but it looks the color gold but that I don't know the overall length is almost 10 inches on this puppy it's 9.75 inch inches and it's 2.75 pounds. The 10 millimeter is still eight rounds plus one, so you're carrying nine rounds, and you can, you know, you can put any 1911 10 millimeter. You can get a Chip McCormick 10 uh, 10 round mag of 10 millimeters or Wilson Combat and things like that if you want to carry extra long mags. So the grip is and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with this gun because I made up my mind it's just so gorgeous and I haven't shot it yet on purpose the the grip is a synthetic pearl grip and of course you can change the grips to whatever you like but I this is what I chose because it's just beautiful and it's got their owl on it on both sides please zoom in real close and you know look how beautiful the Eagle XL is there the markings. Now look at the um, the trigger. You got what I call skeletonized the holes, the trigger. The inside of the trigger is serrated. So you've got serrations on your slide in the back. You got serrations in the front. No rail underneath the front. You you don't need that for this type of piece. And the mag well is very easy to get the mag in and out. It's got a slightly beveled mag well and 
it, it just pops right in there and, and it does it just pops right out super high quality you can feel it you can feel the weight you can feel the quality so I highly recommend this and this is what I'm gonna do with this baby let me put it here on display and get your opinion this is where I want your opinion okay so should I use this you know I have a lot of 1911s I'm a collector um, and I've already got one the same gun but not gold plated I can carry this and I've carried this I went hog hunting a couple of times uh, blast a couple of hogs with this but this I want to be a tribute as a patriotic American 1911 and I'm gonna get some some high-end etching done to it I'd like it to be a tribute to Mr. 45 I'll call him on this platform and Mr. 45, this is going to be a tribute to you. So I'll show you the before, which is this, and after. I'm going to spend a lot of money to make it a tribute to the 45th. And it's going to have a lot of nice stuff on it. Engraved. Engraved throughout. To show my respect to him and the wonderful country. Now, as I look at this, the gold, you see here, it's satin on the bottom. You see on the top, look real close, the gold is satin. Look on the side of the slides, the gold is, is mirror, is a mirror shine. Okay? Now, when you go look for things for sale, the types of weapons, pistols, 1911s in particular, that are selling are the ones that are rare. And this has to be one of the rarest 1911s out there right now. And when they put 50 out like they just did, maybe they're sold out by now, I don't know. That's up to you to do your research. Uh, you you want to you get your hands on one, and you can do what you want with it, of course. You could you can if you're going to carry it you're going to want one of my holsters from weapons education holsters.com so you don't get any leather wear on the slide which my holsters won't do that that's a total different subject uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in a case as a tribute maybe i'll keep it here in the backdrop oh, i will i'll put it here in the backdrop as my my 45th most favorite leader in the world and I'm gonna make this a tribute to him and to the United States so I gotta find the right person who can do all the etching and can who can convert this slightly I'm not gonna go overboard slightly and just make this a showpiece and that's what the reason is that I purchased it and I'll tell you right now the I'll just call it I think it was 1750, and then I had to pay, you know, the FFL a couple of bucks, eighteen hundred dollars. This gun will be worth five thousand dollars. You mark my words, because they're going to stop making it, because the parts are too hard to get, because gold is getting so expensive, uh, and it's so expensive to make these type of high quality products. So you're going to want to grab one if you can. If it's in your budget. If it's not your budget, well then Ivor Johnson has a line. This one, uh, the, the non-gold, if I remember, is about $1,000. And they've got 1911s that go to $600 to, to $1,000. A lot of them. And they're good 1911s. They're brought to Florida and they, and they, they revamp them and they, and they make them really high quality. The ones, I have one uh, that's polished, and, and I look at the price on that, and it's already one up $400 in value. And I bought that about five years ago. You can't get them. They're hard to get. 
So there you go. That's that's my uh, unveiling, and that's me telling you about this Ivor Johnson, the cover, their premiere, their flagship gun, 24 karat gold plated. What do you think, folks? It's IvorJohnsonArms.com. Yeah, I'm just excited about it. Thumb up the video, share it with everyone you know, and if that's not eye candy, I don't know what it is. Let's get a real good close zoom in on it. Go look over real good. And I want to thank everybody and tell them, tell everybody um, if you want an Ivor Johnson, just search Ivor Johnson Weapons Education in the same search, and you'll see all the ones I own in my collection and my review on them. So. This is a this is this was a big deal for me to, to get this and I'm excited about it and now I'm going to make it even better. I'm going to make it a, my most patriotic 1911 I own. And Mr. 45 deserves 24 karat gold. Thank you so much. God bless all of you during these tough times. We're going to get through it together cuz you're a patriot, I'm a patriot. We stick together. We believe in God and we do the right things. We deal with the right people, like the people at Ivor Johnson, the, the quality of the company like that we deal with. We deal with people who are like-minded, who want to stay on their, and do the right things in society. So God bless all of you, and thumb up the video. My name's Tom from Weapons Education. Please pass it on to a friend, and you take care, my friends. I care about all of you deeply. Bye-bye.